As I walk across the top where we ripped here, you'd give it an A for the top finish. And you can see we've got residue incorporated like we'd like to see it in the top four to five inches so Mike and his team can break it down. You can see that we're extremely level. So we could come in here and do some type of a fertilization or chemical pass next spring and wouldn't have to touch this farm. Then when you take your spade and you start stepping it in and you smile and you say, wow, we've got great fracture. And then as you move ahead, all of a sudden, you see that all of a sudden you can't get it in. And you say, well, what's going on? Why in the world are we only in five inches and extremely solid? And you can feel it right there. And there's not gonna be anything that's gonna take that undone. Come with me to the forward to this trench and we'll take a look at what we're looking at. And so for years, as I would run these case rippers, and you can see here, we have a tiger point. It would do a fracture down to the 11 and a half inch mark. But at the same time, in between, we did the tillage up here with the front disc. We got a good five inches of loose, well mixed in residue. And then we come to some really firm structure. And the density has not been lifted out. And it's a real challenge for roots next spring. And you can feel it in here. And it's extremely firm. And you can barely get that jackknife in there. And you can see that roots are going to grow around that next spring. By the time this corn is V6, it's going to have its crown roots starting to move down. By the time we're waist high to shirt pocket height, we're going to have roots skirting this. And 40% of our nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash is not going to be readily available until it gets secondary hair roots growing into it. So as we expose these berms and we talk about the problems with the OEM rippers that are out there, we realize that this is an extremely popular point. It's a seven inch wing point compared to our 14 inch wing, but it's not about this maybe just the size of the wings as much as it's about the swept and the angle and the approach. Where we're two and a half inches off the point, this particular OEM point is six inches off and it's riding in the shadow of the shank. In other words, as a speedboat wake, it's riding in there, it's not gonna wear out. And if it's not wearing out, it's probably not gonna fracture the berm itself. So I went after our team and I said, guys, it's as simple as this. If I'm at 11 and a half, I want this to be removed and I wanna fracture and blow these up so roots can just grow. Let's take a look at what they came up with on our 360 bullet point. So we moved over to the other ripper pass, which was a 360 bullet. And you can see the effect difference here. When we started designing the bullet, we started with three criteria. Number one, and most important was, we wanted to take the berm out itself. And I wanted to get to a point where we had 12 inches of fractured soil so that the root could follow its way through any of this profile. Now, if you measure this right now, it's 14 inches but it's been fluffed up, we had this ripper point set at 11 and a half. So criteria number one was, we need to be able to put a level playing field in. And you can see different soil structures, sometimes it can have a little bit of a bump in it, but I'm looking for about an inch and a half to two inches that's still remaining. The ripper point itself is 14 inches. The additional 10 inches in here is all fractured from the design and the swept. Criteria number two was, it needs to be able that we can pull it. I did not want to have to have a farmer trade tractors and go to higher horsepower. So we took a lot of time and effort to get the shape and the design and the sweep of this wing and the angle of it at the correct. And we took half the time out of it. We started where I was on a half mile pass over a minute, 50 seconds longer, and I got it down to nine seconds by just changing design and working with the criteria itself. And then number three is it needs to last. I realize we're doing more work, but at the same time, I want it to go as long as it possibly can. In our case, we go through the entire season here in central Illinois. Without question, you and I can pick up that this front wall is totally fractured down to that 11 and a half inches in depth. But there always raises a question in a grower's mind with this wide of a point, what's it look like underneath the point itself? And you can see here where we ripped here this morning that we can still get very good fracture. 
Yes, it's a little tight right here where the two inch point itself went, but underneath this wing, I like the way it feels, and you can feel it feels the same all the way even in here where the 10 inch uh, middle ground is in between the points. It all feels very, very consistent. 